This is what we're going to turn into a t-shirt today. Sindel reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their new DTF kit. And I said, yeah, send me some of that. So the kit comes with... 400 grams of DTF powder, white medium. We got some measuring tools for lining up your transfers on your shirt so you can get that perfect placement every single time. We got some heat resistant tape for putting down your transfers and making sure they're not moving around when you apply them. And we got 30 sheets of A3 transfer film. Now for this video, I wanted to do something a little bit different because I have never actually tried the black powder and I bought some a couple months ago. And so I wanted to see how the black powder performed on a black shirt. Some of you may know that Tekken 8 is coming now and Tekken is one of my favorite fighting games and Yoshimitsu is one of my favorite fighting game characters so I decided to whip up a little something real quick and turn this into a t-shirt. As you can see here I'm applying the black powder just as I would the white powder and it has that exact same texture as the white powder when you're finished curing it that orange peel like texture. Here I'm pressing my shirt to get the wrinkles out lining up my transfer using the measuring tool and taping it down with the uh, heat resistant tape. If you want to use the same blower that I'm using to cool down my transfers, there's a product link you can click. Then I hit it with a second press and that's it. Hey yo, the black powder with the black shirt. This shit keeps the colors so much better. I know exactly what I'm doing from now on when I'm working with black shirts. Oh hell yeah. If you or anyone you know wants to make their own graphic t-shirts from home, go to the link in my bio and purchase the Ultimate DTF Make T-Shirts From Home ebook and all the supplies that you see in this video are in the link in my bio as well. I also offer coaching if you do need a one-on-one -on -one session for that.